Here's the pitch by Watts, and he got him swinging. A slider down and in. And despite the leadoff four pitch walk, the Mavs are held off the scoreboard. No run. The bouncing ball to third. Up with it is North. And a high throw. Did he get the bag? Yes, he, yes, he did. It was a high throw to the outfield side of the bag. Sterling Hayes goes up, makes the catch, and then lands with his foot tapping the bag, saving a throwing error by Ben North and a very quick one, two, three inning for Anthony Watts on 0-1. And this one's hit pretty well, and guess where it's going? Left field, but Frederick's not gonna get this one. It's over his head and off the wall. The way that Frederick was approaching the ball, I thought he was gonna be able to get over there and make the catch. I don't know if maybe it was the steals. And that one's gonna be a soft liner over the head of Megs and into right field for a base hit. Rosario delivers Omaha's first knock of the game. Line towards left field and a base hit. One out single for Nolan Clifford. Third Blue Jay hit of the afternoon, a nice piece of hitting. He takes the fat shallow right field. Is anybody gonna get there? Diving for it, and I think he got it. Gabur's gonna make the catch. What a play. Ben Gabur dives for it, and I didn't think he had a chance to begin with, but he makes the catch, and there's one away. Well, it's been a struggle this season with the back the left field. That is deep. That is to the wall, and it is gone. So Devin Hurdle, a two-run shot, puts the Mavericks up two to nothing. Just did get out over the left field fence, 360 feet, hit off the top of the protective roof where the bench is right at the edge of the fence hit right off the top of the roof and into the bullpen and just like that two nothing the fifth home run of this oh two and a called strike three dandy breaking ball dances over the outside corner to end the frame but Mavericks do get a couple of runs on a couple of hits, they leave none. We'll go to the bottom half. The one, two. Line right back up the middle. Potter throwing his glove almost ends up at the third baseline. <laughs> one out single for Canales. It's his first single of the season. It's crazy. Nine hits were all at for extra bases, but. Again, the payoff pitch. That's back up the middle, and it's going to get through, but stopped as it goes behind second by Lechner, but through for, not for a base hit. And Gabur is safe at first, reaching second on the play. The 0-2, swing and a miss, he got him. And a punch out for Mark Lid to end the sixth. Well, head of the bottom half still, Mavericks two, Blue Jays nothing on third, and that should be an error on Bovey. Trying to field it on the side of his body and rolled up his arm. Fifth error of the hammer towards left field. Drifting back on it is Frederick at the wall. It's gone. A two-run home run for Ben Gabur. The Blue Jays have knotted this game up at two apiece. And just like that, the Blue Jays back in this after a very quiet afternoon. Third home run of the season for Ben Gabur. And he got a hanger over the middle of the plate, dead center. And that one just a little bit further than the home run hit by a hurdle. Almost the same spot in the bullpen, but that one cleared the roof. 376 happy feet, and the Blue Jays have tied it. Top of the order for... Brings it home, and this one is popped up. Will it stay in play? Foul ground, first base side near the Omaha dugout. And he's got it, yes sir! Great play, Sterling Hayes going into the stairwell and now there's gonna be a conversation if this is out of play. Did he make the catch in the Omaha dugout which technically would be out of play? He's at the top step reaching over. The question is, had he taken
Hammond ready in the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Up with it is North to third for one across the diamond. Great scoop and a double play. Another tremendous play from Sterling Hayes. He saved an error and now he completes the five to three double play. And the inning is over. The Mavericks strand one more. And now one run will win it. Two hits in the inning, one left. We head to the bond and it is down and it's a great bunt. Bovey throws to first and just nips a runner in time. But on the play, Canales is able to make the turn and go all the way to third. Boy, that was a dangerous throw. It crossed into the runner's path in the ninth. Three balls and a strike. The pitch to Gaber is swung on, hit deep, way back. It might be, it could be. Jays win, Jays win, Jays win. Ben Gaber homers again, and this time it's a walk-off winner. Well, no doubter there. That one deeper than the first one, which came in the seventh. Blue Jays end that skid against the Mavericks and that seven-game losing streak. They drove that ball deep into the bleachers beyond the bullpen. It was a fastball right in his hitter's zone. 401 feet, and Ben Gaber wins it. He tied it with a two-run shot with two outs. He wins it with a two-run shot with two outs. And the Blue Jays end a seven-game skip.